The only thing many know about him is he was the victim of a near fatal shooting in a club right here in Nairobi. Felix, Felix Orinda, popularly known as DJ Evolve, who was shot by Mbakasi Member of Parliament, Mbakasi East Member of Parliament, Babu Owino, is numb from his mid torso down. Now, his health has improved over the past weeks and he's receiving treatment at home as he clutches onto hope that things will turn around and he will return to the DJ decks. He and his mother spoke exclusively to NTV's Dan Mwangi on his progress and their prayers. Just to point out this, DJ Evolve's voice is not as clear because he has a tube to his neck which helps him to sanction, sanction and clear his airway. And you may hear it in the back, background as he speaks to us. Your account of things, what happened on the fateful day? On the fateful day... <sighs> No, it's okay. Niko na emotion. Staki kuongea story ya uyu. Staki kuongea. Mm. Okay. Vile nilipata report ya kijana wangu. Ati ya mepata accident pali pake pakazi. Nilikuwa shocked. And uh, niliona ka kila kitu ime turn upside down. Lakini nilirudi kwa mungu wangu. Nikaambia mungu isha tendeka. Usimame na mimi. Na uniokole mtoto wangu. How are you feeling now? You're doing better. Right now you're able to move your hands a bit. you get like your upkeep kazi yako imesimama sasa ndio ile uweze kuja kumuona ama kwa vipi tangu 17th january kila kitu ilisimama upande wangu kusingefanya chochote na mtoto wangu wako hivi so mi niko tu na ye always since 17th January up to now. Amekuwa osi kwa mwezi sita. So, kaa mutu ataweza sema ati mi ni, ndiyo nilisema tolewe, mimi siyo daktari. Nijue kaa mgonjwa, ametosha kuenda nyumbani, ama bado anafaa kuende akai osibitali. Niliona kwa gazeti na nilikuwa shocked. Kusijawai ongea na mutu yoyote wa media, so hizo reports zao waliandika juu yangu wa semada. Sijui pahali walitoa. Mi concentration yangu ni kwa huyu kijana wangu apone. Bill ilifika 17 million point something. So a week before the week tulitoka, niliona ilikuwa, alisha lipa, babu alisha lipa 7 million. But... Iyo ni agreement ilikuwa kati yake na usibitali. So iye ndi analipa hapo, siwezi sema kitu, kusi yo bili kujuu yake. Yeah. Okay. What kind of care is he getting from home, where I know that he's here? Mm, ok, akona nurses wale alipewa na daktari, ndiyo wakona ye hapa. So wakuanda home care. Mkenda kotini, what are you hoping to get? Justice for my kid. 
only that. Na babu amekuongelesha wewe? Hajawahi muona. Hatujawahi ongea. Na ile machungu ninayo siwezi ongea. Mimi huwa naongea tu na Mungu wangu. Siwezi ongea. Mm. Siwezi ongea. Kus naona kama maisha ya mtoto wangu imeharibiwa. There was a report that you had forgiven the person who did this to you. Maybe just clarify. Well, it's been about six months since the shooting of Felix Orinda, a.k.a. DJ Evol, captured the public's attention. The fear is rife that his alleged attacker could buy his freedom despite the event being captured on camera. Five months later, it appears those fears were founded, as Oli Barros now reports. Thank you very much, fellow Kenyans. I'm Honorable Babu Wina, member of parliament in Bakasi's constituency. Today's lesson will start at exactly 1 p.m., I will dispense knowledge like I don't care. Stay tuned, and I believe that our students will benefit as usual. Pibi. I don't care. As Felix Orinda, popularly known as DJ Evolve, lies imprisoned on an invalid's bed, barely able to move, let alone speak. <laughs> having been shot in the neck by the esteemed Member of Parliament as captured on closed-circuit television cameras. A casual pull of a shisha pipe and boom, a month's life forever changed. The self-professed future of Kenya, as he proudly posits on Twitter, lives to reinvent himself. He now fancies himself a professor, a role model for the youth imprinting his wisdom on impressionable minds. The irony. Felix Sorinda pays the price imprisoned to a bed as a broken court system allows his alleged attacker to walk free. Orinda denied his day in court five and a half months later. The already backed up lower courts ground to a halt by the COVID-19 pandemic as the judiciary and the executive measure whose is bigger. Let us never forget what is really an issue. It is the question of justice being dispensed fairly, openly, and quickly. Justice delayed is justice denied. Compelled by the senseless nature of Orinda's injuries, the magistrate's court had imposed a 10 million shilling cash bail to be used to meet Orinda's medical expenses, a decision later reversed by the High Court. As the matter drags on and the medical expenses pile up, the reality is Orinda may be forced to settle for less than the justice is due. Olive Barrows, NTV.